What is going on everyone? This is Jeremy here from Mad Vape Statesville. Today I'm going to be coming at you with a review and the review today is on the amazing Rulo RX2 by Wismec. So, Wismec makes some crazy good devices. I have always loved Wismec ever since the RX200. I had one, I dropped it a million times, it, it tumbled off the top of my car every single time that I tried to damage this thing, and it was never on purpose, but every time that I damaged this thing, or at least attempted to, it would withstand it. They were always durable. They just take damage, they just work well, they always have great chips in them. Wismec is killing it out there in the vape industry. I would strongly recommend anything of theirs. So, but today we're talking about the RX2, and this isn't just the regular RX2, this is the RX2 21700. So this is totally better than the one before where you could only do the 2700s. They quickly revamped it because not long after they launched their 2700, 21700 started getting popular. So they immediately jumped on the bandwagon, switched up their, their setup to be able to take the new one. And it, I mean, I love it. Uh, this one goes up to 230 watts. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. I scoured the manual to try to find the minimum and maximum resistance for it. It was nowhere to be found. These devices are still new. You might be able to find a uh, minimum and uh, max resistance on there, but I can guarantee you this is this can at least go to 0.1. Uh, I would probably say this can go down to 0.08. Wismec is normally a little bit ahead of the curve. They generally like to make things that people actually want to vape and buy, and people want to buy things that go under 0.1. So uh, I would definitely say that these probably go under that. Don't quote me on that, but I can at least guarantee you these do go to point one. So, features on this thing. Nice, big old screen on there. Uh, plenty visible, it shows your, uh, your wattages and your uh, uh, battery life and everything on there. It's super cool, uh, it's very lit up and, uh, and you can totally tell what the ones are. Um, on here, on the front, you have your up and down and you also use these to navigate through your menu. Um, and then also, the uh, the way this battery door works, on the bottom here, you just push that in, and this tray slides out, and inside you find your 18650 adapters. So uh, just ignore that noise. It's just me dropping the uh, display model model here, but uh, they come with these cool tubes that you can put your 18650s in. But then when you take them out, you can put uh, 21700s in there. Check that out. So, this just goes on. Line it up, slides right on. Boom, ready to rock. This thing is rocking the Wismec Gnome tank, and this is a tank that they have uh, carried over a few times. It's very similar to the Baby Beast. Uh, I can't say for sure, but it looks like the Baby Beast coils will fit in this thing. I had one of the coils out. It has that same look to it. It uh, almost looks identical. Uh, I would say it probably takes the Baby Beast coils on there. Uh, it's worth a shot. But uh, they do have their own coils here. Why am I trying to push some uh, Baby Beast stuff on here when you have a Wismac? So you have these nice big old coils in there. And these all the coils that are in there go up to 70 watts. So you're getting a nice warm vape out of it, a um, nice decent range out of it, but this device can go higher than that. So later on, if you're wanting to upgrade, you know, that you can just about put whatever tank on you, you want on here, but it gives you a nice, very tasty tank. So the way these make these, like people were like, you know, if you don't necessarily need high wattage to get a lot of good flavor and a lot of, and a satisfying vape. Ones like this, they give you a nice condensed vape, a nice dense vape, I should say. It's a nice dense vape and that um, it's warm and it's just very satisfying at around 70 watts. So you can definitely get that out of this. It's got a nice wide bore mouthpiece on there. You can see straight down on the bottom of the coil there. Um, you can hold a decent amount of juice on here. You can end up at, I think it was like two mils of juice. So uh, you can get some decent juice in here. It all goes together on here. I shouldn't say two mils, five mils of juice. Voila. So, we have these in brown, we have these in, uh, excuse me, not brown, purple, it looks brown, That's, they shouldn't call it brown, it says gradient brown on there, but it's purple, let's just be honest, 
um, or it says green and purple, but it's brown to be honest. Uh, we have this gr nice green color and then we have white and black. So you can pick those up here. We're gonna carry them all day long. Come get yourself an RX2 21700. I definitely recommend it. But that's all I have for you guys today. Hope to see some of you guys out and everyone have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend.